Hey y'all, welcome back to the Commerce Conversation. I'm so excited. We're getting closer to, who am I here with? Nancy Kaysen. And you are our chair for? Cherry's Jubilee. And that's why I've got this. We also yes. have it here. Yes, it's wonderful. So we're very excited. The countdown truly has begun. It has. Um, mm -hmm. We are literally in the, so August 19th and 20th, and 20th. Mm -hmm. is the event date. Mm -hmm. And let's hit some of the highlights. We've, we've met several times and talked about some of the changes. But this year, what's probably the most important thing that folks need to know today? Well, let's see. Probably the most important thing is Cherries this year will be two days, the 19th and the 20th, here at the Chamber. And uh, we will do social distancing. We will ask you to wear a mask. We will hand you a fresh ink pen and et cetera, et cetera. You know, we're going to try to be as, as socially conscious as, as we can of this. But this is going to be totally different from what you've seen before because before we've been at the museum 300 plus people silent auction live auction everybody rushing around to bid on things and it's kind of sort of not going to happen that way this time we're asking for you all to make reservations now that does not mean you call and say i'm coming on the 19th at 10 o'clock that just means you call and say i'm coming and what we will do we have a certain number of people that can be in the room at one time and we will have that number in there. And then as people leave, we'll bring more people in, et cetera, et cetera. And maybe we won't even have to do that. Maybe we'll just have 10 at a time and that'll be fine. But the thing about the bidding situation that's gonna be so different is before you've been able to run around in the room and check people's bid on the silent auction and run back and see if your bid's still higher. We're not gonna be able to do that this time, folks. So what we're gonna do, what we're gonna ask you to do is when you walk in the room and you walk around and you see everything, and there are some phenomenal things, folks. There really I will tell are. You, it's exciting. I, it's very. It may be some of the best we've ever had, and we're having to do it this way, but that's okay. We're going to do it this way. But what you do is you look at it, and you say, I really, really want that. Now, what is the most that I would spend for that? And you're going to have a little bid sheet that's going to be just your bid sheet with your bidder. You put your bidder number, and you put your bid. And if there's, there's a piece that I'm looking at and I'm thinking, I'd do $125 for that. Well, I'm gonna write that down and I may be the high bid. On the evening of the 20th, then the team, the Cherries team, will open all the bid boxes and there will be a box at each item where you stick your bid and the highest bidder will win that, that piece of furniture or that piece of art that they bid on. Now, I know you're looking at me saying, well, gee, I might give 125 for that, but the other highest bid might have been $55. This is going for arts in our schools, Absolutely. folks. Remember that. So this is a this is a wonderful way for you to support our arts and not fiddle faddle and worry about whether or not you could have gotten it for $70 cheaper. You might could have, but you might have lost it at 125. So that's some of the things you need to remember. So it's going to be unique. It's going to be different. We'll let everybody know so you can pick your piece of of Cherry's Art up on Friday the 21st here at the Chamber and uh, we're just excited about it. We think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be very different and uh, uh, it does sound fun. It is different. So what they need to do the highlights is go to clevelandchamber.com, right. go to the community events calendar right. and register. Right. They'll have that confirmation so that takes care of the first check on that box. Right. Then they've got two days to choose. the. Uh, 19th or the 20th right. from 8 30 to 5, five. Mm -hmm. to stop by the chamber at your convenience and come and browse for these items and make your highest bid to put in that box um, and it's part of the excitement also is um, being called did you win it that's right um, so i would always recommend bid high that's high, right bid on the high that's end right. um, for the charitable event and uh, once again supporting arts and education right. the great work you and your committee have put forward with this year's event well we love having this money to give to our schools for for art projects and and visiting artists and things like that so so that's what this money goes for folks we don't get paid for doing this the chamber doesn't get paid for helping us do this this all goes right back into our schools our city and county schools and some of our private schools are the beneficiaries of this wonderful event the fundraising so now let me just say one thing if you don't have if you're not online which i don't know how you're watching this if you're not but if you're not online <laughs> you can call the chamber 472-6587 and tell the person at the desk that you do want to come to the event because Absolutely. we want as many people as possible to come and look i'm telling you these artists have been phenomenal this year folks they've had 
a little bit of extra time because of the pandemic and being at home and not having anything to do. And some of our artists have even come back and gotten extra pieces of furniture and said, sure. I've got some more time. So, so and depending on the this. flexibility you have in your day, obviously, mm -hmm. um, for folks who want to come enjoy this, it is two full days. Right. Um, that part alone is really exciting. It is. So think about that as far as if you had a time in that window of your work, maybe build in that break time to come down, do that browsing, um, and, and put your, boat in, your bid in as well. Um, and the, the boxes, lots of bees there. But it's 225 Keith Street. That's the chamber office right. where you've been right. going to that day. Um, and a simple check-in process, and then really enjoy and getting a way to celebrate the arts um, and um, education. Right, and celebrate our artists who have done yes. such phenomenal jobs. They really, I've been amazed. Every year I'm amazed, though, at these creative things people can come up with. And this year again, I'm amazed. It's wonderful. Well, that's great. Well, we're looking forward to once again seeing each of you there, staying safe during these times. Yes. But continue to find fun ways. If anything, right now, this is what we really need to do. Um, I, I love a quote I recently saw from Winston Churchill, and I was reminded by that. And they was talking about possibly no longer funding the arts oh, when it came to at that time and the crisis. And you can imagine for those who follow mm -hmm. history. And he says, then what are we fighting for? And that really resonated with me right. as a community, as we're building forward past the pandemic. Arts does thrive and continue to find ways to add that um, think in the future. And that Absolutely. supports this year's Absolutely. theme about yes. what is your what is your vision? vision? And the vision has changed a couple of little times it during has. this year, but but we're excited. Well, art will continue to thrive and survive with your support. So we look forward to having you once again go to the ClevelandChamber.com website, register for that confirmation, and then just show up on one of those two days yes. and enjoy the event. So right. we will see you, if not before, we'll see you on the event day. Thank you. Bye bye, folks.